Hey guys, it's me Mole today. So yeah, massive victory for the Blues. You know, they've just defeated the Hurricanes 27-17. to Yeah, this is a great win for them, obviously. It puts them in prime position to actually challenge the Crusaders within the next few rounds. That's a good, good win, really. And, you know, um, I was very impressed with the Blues squad overall. I mean, within that first half, um, I'll admit, Blues were a bit shaky. Um, you know, they were giving away, I'd say, stupid balls in the sense where, like, you know, they were dropping the ball at points and allowing the Hurricanes to, you know, push them within their own 22 for most of their, most of the first half. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, the Blues did pretty well to maintain themselves. I mean, like, you know, within the first, I think, 15 minutes, uh, Dubusi Karifi had a yellow card to his name uh, due to a high tackle, so you know that that pretty much uh, put him up for uh, ten minutes, I believe, around the fifteenth mark, and then yeah, from there the Blues were able to kind of you know change momentum slightly, but the Hurricanes did actually very well to actually just keep them within their uh, keep them within their own half. Cause it was just blue mis uh, Blues mistakes, which were just really letting them down within that first half. But uh, around the thirtieth minute mark, uh, the Blues did get the first try within the game through a penalty try, which is very interesting because. You know the Blues. They've actually haven't, in, in my knowledge, haven't still. They still haven't scored a try off the mall yet. So it was one of those uh, where it, it wasn't. It, it's a penalty try, but it was off the mall essentially. And Odisvi actually came in into the mall incorrectly. So he also had a yellow card uh, in that instance as well. So he was um, off the last you know ten minutes of the half. And yeah, from there, you know the Blues did take. I'd say slight, slight, slightly more control within the within that half. And yeah, though it ended up being ten to nine at the half time. So. And the Blues were just just in it um, slightly, but yeah, more or less within that second half, the Blues really, I'd say, took control um, within that opening ten. Yeah, they kind of won that territory uh, game, and then yeah, from there the Blues were able to like you know get a few penalties in, and then yeah, drive up into their Hurricanes twenty two, and yeah, from there they were able to make a, probably the I'd say the best try within the game um, from TJ uh, TJ Farney. What happened was that Stephen Perifana actually. He sidestepped, I believe, James Blackwell, and what happens is that he just came in the inside, went around, and all he had to do was just a simple um, one-two play to uh, TJ Farney, and he just had to run in. So it was a very good try, probably the best try in the game, in my opinion. But yeah, from there, you know, obviously the Blues were able to actually, you know, take a bit more, uh, you could say, take a bit more time, but also continue their dominance and actually get another try within the game um, from Mark Talay. And it was actually a World War try, obviously. They, they came down into the right-hand flank, actually. And, yeah, they built up, obviously, a few plays, uh, a few phases, obviously. And within that 22, they were able to distribute the ball into the um, into the right-hand flank. And, yeah, from there, they were able to, like, just pass the ball out to Mark Talay. I believe it was a Terry Black who noticed that gap. And then, yeah, from there, Rico was able to pounce, find a little tight gap, and then pass it very quickly before Jordy uh, came in to tackle him. And, yeah, Mark Talay had an easy just one one-handed uh, try, but yeah, no, other than that, pretty pretty good try. That kind of took the Blues, you know, edge, you could say, the nervous, uh, nerves um, off them. Yeah, because I think that from there, Ontario did convert that, tri uh, convert that try, which is a very good kick, by the way. And yeah, from there, I believe they were 10 points clear or 12 points uh, by that time. So yeah, more or less, the Blues had more, you could say, more control at that point. But the Hurricanes actually did uh, pounce back slightly, you know, with that 75th minute. Uh, Reed Prince, I believe, uh, got the last try in the game. And yeah, it was pretty well worth try. You know, the, the Hurricanes actually won a, um, won a scrum um, from the Blues. Now, I believe it was uh, Tarone who actually, you know, he pretty much got the ball off of Kira before he was able to pass it, so the Hurricanes had a scrum, from there they were able to just put, um, have a few phases again, and yeah, from there, um, yeah, they were able to pass it to reprint, and just, yeah, put easy, easy try, really, just put it down within that left-hand flank, and yeah, quickly try to reset the game, Jordy did miss that uh, kick, though, so it was one of those which, yeah, at the end of the day, that, that really kind of changed their kind of confidence because if they had that kick then obviously they would have been in a better position but yeah from there the Blues were able to control the game and yeah just uh, hold it out really and yeah they won the game 27 points to 17 so yeah a yeah, very good win for the Blues obviously if I have to say my man of the match for the game uh, there was actually a lot of people who actually stood out for the Blues you know like stuff I'd say Mark Slay had a pretty good game I'd say uh, Tom Robinson is, as cap his captain for the first time very good game uh, Dalton again uh, another good game I'll probably give it to Tom Robinson, though, to be honest. Uh, I think he actually had a very good game. And, yeah, of course, of course it was his first game as captain. So, yeah, I'm going to give it to him. I, I think he's had a very good game overall. So, yeah, and hopefully we see more of that. Because he he's definitely has that leadership role, which um, I can see within him. So, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. But, yeah, more or less, very good victory for the Blues. Yeah, it's one of those which uh, puts us in a comfortable position now. And, and more... More or less, we're trying to hope that the Hurricanes uh, next week, you know, get a shock win over the Crusaders. You never know. 
But, you know, anyway, that's kind of it with this video. Uh, hope you guys have a great, great weekend. Yeah, and talk to you guys soon.